Hi and welcome back. It's Vicky here and today we are going to have some fun with textures. I will be playing with this Sizzix die. This is a big die that gives you the opportunity to cut out more materials than just uh, paper and this is exactly what I will be doing today. And Sizzix has another Santa face design. It is designed by Tim Holtz and it's also a big die. So you can choose whichever you like and you can do the exact same thing as I will be doing today. Now the die that I'm using today is actually available in Europe, but not in the US or Canada. But uh, the Tim Holtz one is uh, widely available. You will find links to both these dies down below in the description area on both US and UK online stores. Now these days we are working with thin lids usually, but uh, it's a great trend, but I really like to go back to bigs from time to time. I just love how uh, thick materials they cut and uh, all the texture that you can give on your projects. Now I'm going to show you how I like to store them just because they are black front and back. Uh, although there is a label on the side, I like to have the image in front of my tie just to, for easy browsing. So I like to cut out the front of uh, the packaging and I just stick it there with my tape adhesive. I store my big dies vertically one behind the other in boxes and uh, having this image in front of them really makes uh, browsing through them super easy for me. Today's project is not going to be just with paper. Since I am using the big die, I will take advantage of that and I will try to add as much texture as I can on my sanda. So I'm working on this uh, scrap piece of uh, white paper, which I am covering completely with double sided tape. And uh, I'm going to use this uh, piece to create the um, beer and the moustache as well as all the details for the hat of Santa. And um, I decided to work with uh, batting. This is polyester batting. It's used for uh, quilting, but uh, you can use uh, so many different materials. You can use felt, for example white felt. So I'm going to make sure that uh, I have a nice piece there and I used the white uh, cardstock at the back just because this uh, batting really needs uh, some uh, stabilizer. Now I'm going to add one more little piece and I'm going to place them on top of my big tie with the batting touching the blades. I created my sandwich just uh, with the cutting plates on top and at the bottom and I'm running them through my Sizzix machine. By the way, this is like a big shot, but it's a fold away uh, machine. It's available in Europe and I did uh, made a review a while back. Now, as you can see, I am uh, separating all the little pieces that uh, was were all cut out like butter. I am going to take out the moustache here and I like how thick it is. It looks like real. And uh, this is the beard. Now I'm going to move on and start cutting out the rest of the pieces. And here is where I thought that uh, since I'm using the big die, why cut out his uh, hat out of uh, red cardstock? So instead I'm using a piece of red fabric. Again, you can use so many different materials. You can uh, even work with chipboard. You can use uh, felt. It would uh, look uh, great if you make this sand uh, out of felt as well. So again, I'm uh, creating a little uh, piece for uh, sticking on top my fabric. I really like to have a stabilizer at the back to give it more strength. So I'm going to place my fabric on top and then I'm going to place it directly on top of the blade that cut out that uh, little hat. And I'm using a piece of manila paper on top of his face. So with one passing, I'm going to cut out both these pieces. Now when you cut out his face, you will also cut out with that passing the two little dots for his eyes that I have colored with a black marker black. Now before I start assembling my little Santa, I'm going to add some um, pink on his cheeks and for that I'm just using my Distress Ink there with a finger dabber. Now I'm going to start doing the assembly of my Santa there. Uh, for sticking all the pieces together, I'm using white glue. This is a really fun uh, process. I had so much fun uh, while making this project and I know that uh, you will have fun if you do it with your kids or your grandkids. Now I'm going to speed up the video. I'm going to put on some music so you can see the whole assembly.
Now, of course, you can turn Santa into an ornament. You can turn him into a gift tag. You can uh, play, put him on top of your gifts to decorate them. Just use uh, Santa any way you like. I'm going to show you how easy it is to turn him into a card. So I used uh, two pattern papers from a very old collection that I had in my stash. I combined um, the green one on top of the striped one. Now at the back of his hat I am adding some foam squares since uh, it is quite dimensional but at the back of uh, his beard I'm just going to add some glue. Now since I used um, batting and it is polyester it was very thick and that's why I have all that dimension. If you go with paper you can uh, turn him completely flat. If you go with felt it's not going to be so dimensional also so it depends on which materials you use to assemble him. My card is a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. My panel is going to completely cover up my card. And uh, now all that's left to do is to add the sentiment. For that, you can stamp your sentiment if you like. In this case, I'm just going to use this um, gold cardstock and uh, I'm going to cut out the words ho, ho, ho using these alphabet dies by C6 and by the way these are called brass capital alphabet. Now I am going to repeat this process three times and then since these are so tiny little pieces instead of adding glue at the back I decided to use my Xyron sticker maker. I'm just uh, going to run them all through that and then it's uh, just a matter of peeling them off and sticking them on my project. So that was the video for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired and I hope that I reminded you that you can use your die cutting machine for cutting out way more materials than just paper. I will be back tomorrow with another fun video playing with Sizzix dies and creating something dimensional with lots of texture just like today. Here are some close-up photos of the project that I created today. Thank you all so much for watching and for your lovely comments. See you tomorrow!